Industries Development Corporation Limited. He'll be speaking on the food processing industry and its challenges. Just to give you a small uh, profile about this guest speaker, uh, Mr. Bhushan Yangde is a trained food technologist at the Maratwada Agricultural University and the University of Reading, United Kingdom. He has extensive industrial experience in the private and public sector of India. In the public sector, he has served in the nodal agency of Ministry of Food Processing Industries of India for the Maharashtra state. He has worked in the new product development, quality, technical and project division. As a food industry consultant in the Binder Technology Consultancy, he is proficient in the project management, food safety, European food loss, risk analysis and goat farm management. I will request you to please uh, give an applause so that uh, he will get some boost and start delivering his presentation. We welcome sir, we welcome. Please come on your desk. Hello everyone. Uh, congratulations, Senatorial Exhibitions for fifth successful term. Uh, thank you so much, everyone here, for being this particular session on BRICS food industry and its uh, challenges. Uh, just this is one of the strongest union of the world. That's uh, BRICS. We, we we are just going to see how it will make impact to the globe. Uh, we are just going to see our whole presentation in these few segments, the, the meaning of BRICS, uh, followed by Brazil's food industry, Russian food industry, Indian food industry, Chinese food industry, then uh, South Africa's food industry, and uh, the challenges for this whole food industry. Let's, let's, let's start with the BRICS. It's one of the strong union of the globe. Uh, it comprises of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The BRICS term was coined b uh, before 2006, but for the first meeting took place at the uh, six, uh, 61st session of United Nations uh, General Assembly during the general debate. And that's how the BRICS started the processing of BRICS formation started. Uh, that time, the, for the first formation meeting was a BRIC country, that's uh, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And later on in 2010, Africa joined, and then it became uh, a total BRICS. So these all countries big, uh, are for multi-level, these, these countries lead, uh, lead any multi-level uh, level process led by this all summit. They, 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 the agendas include, they, they have a dozen of agendas like health, security, terrorism, then uh, you know, economy, trade, agriculture, science and technology. They, they have various agenda. So this, for this particular conference, we'll be dealing with this, all, this particular agendas of uh, the agriculture, trade and science technology and its uh, challenges for the whole uh, food industry sector. To, to start with, you know, like the, this, this whole union, the, the BRIC, BRICS union, uh, they, 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 have, they, they, have, they have around quarter percent of world's land. They, they have around 42 percent of uh, population. They, they have around uh, 13 percent of world's bank uh, voting power. That's one of the strongest uh, power for any, 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 any union countries. And uh, they have around shares of, they have around 15% of share of IMS quota shares. The, IMS, the, uh, the uh, IMF organization uh, uh, has around 189 countries. And uh, BRICS account for its 15% uh, of its share. That, that's huge percent for, for any uh, collaborative union. So you know, like, uh, just, just, I just want to update one more thing that uh, uh, the BRIC country generated around 22.53% uh, of world GDP uh, in the 2015. That's one of the latest uh, data, and this this whole contributed around 50% of uh, world's economic uh, growth in the last 10 years. That's that's huge, huge. That's huge growth. 
uh, let's uh, to, to start with Brazil. Uh, if you, if you think of Brazil, then you know like uh, this whole uh, food industry of Brazil. Uh, uh, the, the last the, the last conference of BRICS Union took place at, uh, in 2014 and Brazil, and uh, this was the logo of, of uh, Brazil conference. Let's uh, to start with Brazilian uh, food processing industry. Uh, the Brazil ac accounts for. 35% of uh, orange share and they are the major distributors they are the major processors of uh, orange processing juice in the world then Brazil is Latin America's second biggest product potato processor and recently uh, the Brazil has become they have their potato has become a regular diet of uh, Brazil's culture probably and uh, yeah, there have been many criticism of uh, uh, diet and all on the Brazil at the moment of junk food, junk food related uh, uh, criticism. And uh, garlic is one of the main, main product of uh, Brazil. The, uh, the Brazil also pro imports, uh, the, the Brazilian pea import has been increasing constantly. The volume uh, of pea imported increased by 44% and prices of peas import increased by 52% in 2009 and 2013. Uh, well, this Brazil food in the dairy food industry, dairy industry uh, was the net importer and now it has become a net exporter as well. Uh, it is when, uh, in 2015, uh, 2013 it stepped into first five top dairy industries uh, which includes European Union, United States, China and India and, 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 and followed by you know Brazil and there's the herd, the dairy herd for, uh, is one of the third, uh, is, is third largest herd after European Union and um, India total. Uh, recently Brazil has been uh, providing or trading uh, butter uh, with the Russia, uh, previously it was not allowed. In 2015, from September 2015, it has been uh, uh, trading butter for uh, Russia, and this is really a huge step. And they also are trading milk powder, cheese, uh, as well. Soybean and the uh, maize is major process and uh, uh, produce in the Brazil. The lentils, chickpeas, uh, peas are being imported, and uh, you know, like uh, Brazil needs high, uh, need to import high quality of wheat. At the moment, the wheat produced in uh, Brazil is of low quality. Uh, that's uh, it. Uh, it does not fit into the baking specification, and that's why they are blending the wheat with the Argentina and the. Uh, USA wheat processing industry for, for for example you know like if you'll see the share here the Argentina has around 58 percent of its share the United States has 18 percent the Paraguay 14 the Uruguay 8 and uh, Canada uh, 2 percent that's, that's, that's huge uh, this is one of and the, if you go to the meat processing industry the Brazil's meat processing industry exposed to one are, um, around one, 150 countries. Uh, currently, it is uh, it accounts around 20 percent of global share uh, of international meat processing industry. Uh, it also accounts the 40 40 percent of uh, all poultry exports in the world uh, products. These these are the this is graphical representation, and if you analyze the whole graphs you'll understand that uh, uh, Brazil has been providing the beef, the, uh, it has been the le uh, leader in the beef export as well, the pork uh, and the, po uh, the poultry exports, of course it is one of the leading in the pork export as well. Uh, the Russia and China has been one of the consi uh, consi consistent traders uh, for whole uh, meat industry uh, with Brazil. If you look at the tea and uh, coffee industry, you know, like uh, Brazil, coffee accounts for 
around 31.3 percent of global production i just would like to you know like quote the note from uh, brazilian agriculture research corporation it says that uh, the coffee harvest in brazil may reach uh, 47.51 million bags of 60 kg this year uh, if the value is confirmed the country will have accounted for 31.3 percent of global output uh, information is supplied by the Brazilian Agriculture Research uh, Corporation and it was uh, published on 18 January 2017 this will this is really this will bring a quite of revolution in the whole uh, coffee industry of the world uh, this is uh, you know supermarket uh, uh, scenario of Brazilian food industry and if you analyze if you'll see the dry grocery then meat then perishable the liquid grocery produce bakery are the top-notch atoms of Brazilian supermarkets and uh, many food products are being sold in the supermarkets rather than any other chains at the moment uh, moving towards next uh, segment that's uh, Russian food processing industry and this is the symbol uh, that uh, last BRICS summit took place in Brazil in 2015. If you'll see and analyze the data of the whole uh, uh, dairy industry, you will see that uh, Russia has been a sixth global cheese producer. Uh, it is fourth largest producer in the butter, and uh, India stands first here, and uh, EU stands first. Uh, in, 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 in the cheese, product, uh, cheese production, EU means uh, European Union. If, if you look at the whole uh, scenario of the uh, wheat, produ wheat production, then you will find that uh, after China, India, USA, they are wheat largest producer in the world. Uh, followed by, I just would like to add that uh, they are also second largest uh, producer of sunflower so, uh, oil and uh, the sugar beet industry they rank first in that uh, whole industry the sugar process, sugar beet industry is really one of the fascinating industry in the food industry sector at the moment uh, this is the whole scenario of uh, meat industry and i would like to say that uh, the po the poultry and the cattle industry is one of the prominent industry uh, in the russia at the moment if you look at the russian uh, food industry scenario, you'll, you'll come to know that uh, Russia food industry is eighth largest food industry in the world and it accounts around 27.5 million tons of trade, volume and drinks. The GDP is one of the highest GDP, uh, if it's one of the highest GDP, around 6% of total national GDP is, a, is, is, is of agriculture industry and 16% uh, of whole population is employed uh, in, the, in the agricultural and allied services in the Russian agriculture industry. Uh, well, uh, nowadays there is consistent need of uh, agriculture and food processing uh, equipment and packaging food, uh, food, food instruments in, in, in uh, Russia and it has doubled since last 10 years. Uh, <clears throat> here I, I just would like to quote one of the, uh, uh, the, the newspaper headline on, 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 17, uh, on August 7, 2014, the Vladimir Putin signed and decree banning long list of uh, agriculture products from United States, Canada, then European Union, Australia, and Norway. Uh, in reaction to economic sanctions against Russia, the, the, the li list includes all kind of agriculture products, then poultry, meat, uh, the dairy product, vegetables, and, and uh, other, other, other products too. And, and, uh, and European Union particularly criticize, the particular many countries of European Union criticize this whole stand. But you know, like if you if you look look at the whole uh, the the step that was taken in 2014, you'll see there there, there have been many positive steps that are going ahead in Russia. 
at the moment. Uh, by banning these oil atoms, the Russia aims to increase its uh, grain production by 99.7 percent, and you know sugar beet and sugar beet by 93 percent, and potatoes by 98 percent, milk by 90, 90 percent. So this will this will bring huge investment in uh, Russia, and they are aiming to increase the whole investment. By, around, by, 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 you know, like the fixed capita in agriculture by 4.5 by 2020. So this is one of the positive side. And one more positive side that, that they have fixed, that uh, by doing this show, they're also, they also aiming to uh, increase the wage level in, in agriculture to 55% uh, to overall, our overall uh, economy average. So this is one of the positive steps in the all in any any country's uh, food industry or agriculture industry sector well well this is the whole status uh, of, of uh, self sufficiency i would call self sufficiency status if you'll see the whole whole graph then you will find that uh, the grain industry uh, is more uh, uh, self sufficient then i would say potato industry is self sufficient vegetable industry is tending to be self sufficient and they are working on to increasing their meat and uh, fruits production and vegetable production in in, uh, in, in Russia at the moment. Uh, well, uh, with this whole ban, there, there have been a lot many opportunities uh, in uh, Russian food processing industry or agriculture processing industry in terms of uh, their meat and poultry, their equipment, then fruit and vegetable equipments, and the baking equipments and uh, any kind of value added processing industry is very doubling in the Russia at the moment and, and there, there are a lot many opportunities in this whole sector at the moment. Well, uh, the next prominent industry uh, in the BRICS is India. Uh, this is a symbol and it was, it, it took place, the BRICS last summit took place in India in 2016 at uh, Goa. And this was the one of Lotus was particular Lotus was the symbol laid by our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Uh, well, if you look at the Indian food uh, uh, and vegetable industry scenario, you'll find that India ranks second uh, in the global market in the fru fruits and vegetable sector. Uh, that India ranks second, third, and you know, like and in, uh, in many, many, many fruits and vegetables. But the ginger and okra are prominent vegetables that, that, that are produced in India and they rank first in India. Uh, the, in the fruit processing sector, in the fruit production sector, I would say that banana, mango and papaya are the prominent sector and India accounts huge number. If you'll see the banana accounts around 22%, the papaya is, accounts 44% and the mangoes account 37% of the entire globe. So, so there are so many opportunities in Indian fruits and vegetable sector uh, in particular, I would say. Indian dairy sector, of course, uh, since we are in the tea and coffee uh, <coughs> uh, expo, I just would like to mention it, tea and coffee is incomplete without uh, milk. So I would like to say that India accounts around 17% uh, of global market share. It, ran, it, it uh, constitutes, uh, the, the, the Indian fish constitutes around 6.3 of the global fish production. The India accounts around quarter percent of uh, uh, the fresh, fresh coat milk. And India also adds around 5.19% of total uh, egg production. So Indian animal product industry is one of the imminent uh, production, uh, the imminent animal product industry in terms of processing and in terms of uh, fresh produce as well. Moving towards the cereal processing industry, if you will uh, see the wheat, sorghum, maize, millet, barley, these are prominent crops and India ranks uh, on somewhere in the top in the whole, whole this all, all food industry sector. Uh, you know, uh, uh, India ranks, uh, rice has been one of the uh, major export produce of India and Basmati variety has been one of the prominent variety 
uh, in the globe, India exports around 93.6% uh, of, of basmati rice to the, to the world. And uh, India ranks first in the, in the, pulp, uh, the pulse production, uh, accounts you know, like around 28 million hectares. But, uh, you know, like uh, the, the new sector that is developing in the world is uh, organic uh, uh, food industry, is one of the trading, trading, uh, trading industry in the world. And India ranks second in the whole uh, uh, organic sector. Uh, followed by third, I could see a Russia Federation. It ranks second, so we have around two con two BRIC, uh, BRICS member uh, in the top uh, organic food industry sector. The processing sector of India has been growing uh, since last five years, and uh, we have seen around 25, 21.5 percent of annual growth rate in the export of of uh, fruit products globally. The 72% sell occurs through uh, supermarkets and Indian uh, food industry, with the grocery industry ranks fourth in the globe in the supermarket uh, sector. And uh, recently, India has opened FDI, that's a foreign direct in, uh, investment to the globe, and that has been adding a lot of investment uh, to the world uh, and India as well. Uh, the next industry is uh, Chinese food industry. Uh, the last summit took place at uh, Xiamen. I don't know how this is to be pronounced. It's the Xiamen or, or it's is Xiamen. Yeah, uh, the, the China contributes around 50% uh, of total fruit and vegetable production. That's, 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 a, that's a huge production. Uh, that's, that's a huge production. Uh, contributed by any country in the world and uh, it is uh, that uh, the agricultural sector of China compromises approximately of 13 percent of China's total GDP and that is also one of the highest GDP in the in the probably in the globe uh, recently China has been uh, concentrating on uh, coal chain management and by doing this so uh, the Coal, uh, uh, year over year, the coal storage industry growth rates in the China are growing 25% annually. And this is rare to see in any kind of BRICS uh, union. If you'll see whole uh, fruits and vegetable industry, you'll, you'll see that uh, the banana, grapes, durians, cherries, kiwis are the total fresh fruit imports of mainland China and uh, the Thailand, Ch Chile, Vietnam, Philippines, and USA are the prominent trading countries with, with, with the China at the moment. <coughs> uh, well, the, the dairy industry of China is one of the complex, I would say, uh, complex dairy industry. Uh, the government has a government for many policies to increase the milk production, and they have also made guidelines uh, to to increase the da daily milk intake uh, after 2006. Pro uh, uh, it, after 2006, uh, in a speech, uh, Premier Wen Zhebao said, "I have a dream, and my dream is that each Chinese person, especially the children, can afford to buy one gene of milk to." Drink, uh, to drink every day and one gene is equivalent to around uh, 500 grams of milk and uh, according to dietary lines uh, dietary guidelines of China uh, it, 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 it it regulates up around uh, 300 grams of milk that's that is very similar to India as well uh, the China has been real self-sufficient but uh, the milk production has been declining due to major uh, uh, dairy players at the moment. If you look at the China's dairy consumption is expected to increase by 38% by 2020, uh, 2022. Uh, dairy imports are therefore expected to rise by 20% with 82% of those imports being skim or whole milk powder.
this is this is a, this is a serial uh, and pulse industry scenario. Oil and seed stands at the highest level, followed by barley, wheat, and uh, corn industry in in China. Uh, this is our meat consumption uh, in China at the moment. If you'll see the whole graphical representation, you will see that uh, the projections lead that uh, uh, the beef is highly consumed in China, followed by poultry and uh, followed by pork. And uh, all these products are imported. The, 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 uh, Brazil has been one of the uh, biggest trader with China with whole uh, meat consumption. Uh, if you look at the whole uh, tea and coffee uh, industry scenario, China has been one of the prominent uh, key players in the tea uh, sector of the world uh, since 2012, 13, 14, or 15, 16. China has been really one of the prominent key player and prominent world tea producer and uh, world tea uh, exporter as well. And uh, second is uh, India, followed by Kenya, then China, Vietnam, Indonesia, and rest uh, all other countries. But these uh, two countries hold the prominent uh, tea sector of the globe. Uh, if you look at the trends in Chinese food industry, you will find that instant uh, China, uh, in, sorry, in, sorry, if you look at the trends of coffee industry, you will find that uh, the coffee, uh, the, the, the instant coffee trend has been increasing in, in, in China rather than fresh uh, coffee. And if you compare the coffee and tea industry, you will find that Chinese uh, tea industry is one of the prominent industry when you compare with uh, the tea industry. Uh, let's 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 see the BRICS uh, next country that's uh, South Africa. Uh, so last summit took place in South Africa in Durban in 2014, and uh, this is the logo that they formed, and it took place at Durban. Uh, this is a whole segmentation of uh, whole fruits and vegetable uh, uh, industry of the South Africa. You'll find that tomatoes, potatoes, then uh, uh, banana and avocado are the prominent uh, produce players in, in South Africa. Uh, South Africa's global agriculture import, import market uh, plays a very important role with EU, Argentina, Brazil, Thailand, United States, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, and India as well, followed by Australia, Canada. Uh, so you know, like the, the consumption of meat, the breads, uh, the grain industry, and fruits and vegetables is of high amount in, in South Africa. If if you look at the whole uh, map and the agricultural uh, areas of South Africa, you will find that the the grain industry, the grape industry, the peanut industry is one of the prominent industry in whole agricultural produce uh, in, 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 in Africa. Uh, let's, let's, let's compare, now, now, uh, let's compare the meat industry of, of, uh, of chicken industry. The, the, uh, if you look at the top industries, the, the top uh, South, Africa, so South African meat, uh, meat players, you will see that uh, the South African industry adds around 29% of the whole industry. In the egg production, it adds around 40% uh, of whole uh, industry, and that, that's huge. And even it, it is one of the top industry, uh, you know, in, in top African five countries. That's uh, in, in milk production, meat, and uh, cattle meat in particular. Uh, this is a growth value of agriculture production uh, in South Africa. And uh, yeah, the African animal products are in high uh, cost at the moment. And they are also rising. Uh, this is a gross income from major produce, uh, raw, uh, the red meat, the poultry, uh, fruits, maize, vegetable, milk, uh, uh, top, top, 
uh, adding stand to the whole industry as a whole. The imports and exports has been increasing. If you look at the uh, projections, you will find that uh, the, the the saffron color is export and green color is import. Both are increasing consist consistently hand in hand. And export, you, you, you will find that uh, export of this whole uh, agriculture product industry has been increasing constantly uh, in, in, in South Africa. Well, uh, after, after analyzing all this uh, BRICS, uh, whole uh, BRICS indus food industry, we will see the, what are the challenges for the whole uh, 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 BRICS union. The, 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 the food security has been one of the main challenge of the food, uh, food of, of uh, BRICS industry. Well, we have a lot of people uh, who, are, uh, who are in the top list of uh, uh, top list, top billionaire or uh, multi-millionaire. And we also have many people who are mal uh, nourished in the, uh, all, all the countries, particularly in India and China at the moment. So this is one of the big challenge for the world. Uh, there have been many internal strikes between two countries. Uh, there have been, uh, uh, these are really uh, politically created or politically motivated, I would say, but this, this, this hasn't added anything politically, but media has added a, a lot internally. I don't know how, how, how far how far because there is how far it is right but there has been no statement from the any official government so i would say it it, it would be really smooth because uh, we have we have china and india have uh, has has seen really uh, deep and nourished relationship since ancient time since the time of Yuan sang or tet sang the scholars travel travel in the, uh, travel in india in search of knowledge in search of cultures so I would say that uh, this, will, this won't impact any kind of uh, BRICS relation uh, in particular. Uh, they, they, there's, there's really less cooperation in food laws because every country has uh, uh, different food laws in, in, in whole BRIC union at the moment. The agriculture productivity of the BRIC union is less when we compare the agriculture productivity of many uh, developed nation uh, at the moment. So all, all these BRICS nations are working hard and the technology uh, and, and agriculture, uh, agriculture, any kind of improvement between, between uh, these, these two countries. Uh, yeah, so, so this, is, this is really increasing, I would say. Then uh, trade prices uh, and food policy is one of the biggest challenge for this whole uh, uh, BRICS Union, uh, because uh, trade prices of many countries, when we compare with BRICS countries, uh, uh, are very low, especially when we compare with Western countries or European countries. Uh, the, the prices of the, uh, the commodities in the Western or, or European countries are very low, but, so, sorry, very high, and the comparatively the BRICS countries have really low uh, prices, but uh, if there is a kind of uh, stand for equality for in terms of trade prices and food policy, it could add a new revolution to the whole uh, food and agricultural industry. Uh, next is uh, intellectual property rights. Uh, I would say these countries registered way less in, uh, the, uh, the rights when you compare with all different countries at the moment. And there have been very less brands from these countries uh, which are settled across the world and globally doing as a brand. Uh, with, 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 with this whole, whole uh, you know, presentation, I just would like to add that, uh, you know, like one, one of the, uh, uh, one of the major declaration uh, that took place in uh, 2017 in Zaman. Uh, I just would like to quote that. The, it's very important uh, when we are into the tea and coffee expo. Uh, it says, uh, we recognize the unique characteristics and the, and the 
competitivity of BRICS countries in agricultural development and vast cooperation potential in this area. Uh, in this connection, we agree to deepen uh, cooperation in five priority areas, such as food security and nutrition, adaptation of agriculture to climate change, uh, followed by agricultural technology and cooperation and innovation, agricultural trade and investment, uh, and information communication technology application in agricultural to contribute to stable global agricultural growth and achievement of sustainable development goals. And, and further, further, it, the, 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 it adds one of the prominent uh, points, and that could be one of the revolutionary points for, for whole BRICS and, of course, for the India. It, it uh, says, we welcome the establishment in India of the coordination center of BRICS agriculture, agriculture research platform, a virtual network which will facilitate addressing these priorities areas. With this, with this uh, declaration note, uh, I, I just would like to say thank you so much. Thanks a lot, everyone. These are my details. Please get back to me on these my details. Thank you. Please be on stage. I request Preeti ma'am to come up on the stage and uh, present a small memento to Bhushan sir for giving his precious time to us and enlightening with a good piece of information. Please put your hands together, my dear friends. Thank you Bhushan sir. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. Thank you. Please have a nice day ahead and please be seated. Your time permits.